Greetings, my name is Mary Lucero and it is my honor as Associate Dean of Academic Affairs to welcome you to the AUC Celebration of Academic Excellence. My greetings extend to the AUC students both in St. Martin, the UK, US and Canada who are being honored today. I welcome their family and friends who have provided that loving support that is so important for successfully navigating medical school. I welcome our faculty, fellows, provost Chumley, deans and staff who have been working tirelessly to ensure academic excellence in a safe learning environment. Today, we will celebrate the achievements of last semester, during which we welcomed over 600 students back to St. Martin, and we all learned the COVID-19 protocols of filling out the AUC SAFE app wearing a mask, hand washing, and social distancing. Despite these and other obstacles, the students here today not only survived, but excelled in their studies and in community service. As student leaders at AUC, I encourage all of you to speed our return to normalcy by encouraging the students who look up to you to get vaccinated. I'm sure we're all looking forward to the day when we can enjoy our beautiful campus and studies without masks and PPE. In addition to our beautiful campus, one of the many things that I love about AUC is the generosity and kindness that our students show towards each other through our peer-to-peer -peer and course tutoring program. Last semester, we had 110 state St. Martin tutors and 12 UK tutors who together help literally hundreds of AUC students succeed in their studies. We are extremely proud and grateful for your outstanding work. Today, we especially celebrate our 127 Dean's List awardees and Honor and Service inductees. The students that we are honoring for their outstanding ac academics also reached back and pulled forward many students with them. Well done. You are on your way to becoming the empathetic and caring physician that you have always dreamed of being. Once again, I warmly welcome all of you to the wonderful celebration of academic excellence. It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, whom many of you may already know. She did her undergraduate studies at UC Irvine and joined our AUC family as a medical student in 2017. In addition to her outstanding academics, she worked on two international mission trips, one in Peru and one in Honduras. She has contributed to a number of research projects and for almost a year now has been the director of the Partnerships for the National Student Response Network and her e-board oversees over 5,600 health profession students nationwide. It has been a pleasure to work with her as an academic affairs fellow, and we wish her the very best as she starts her residency in surgery this July. Please join me in welcoming our guest speaker, Dr. Jacqueline Cleaver, who will give the congratulations speech. Hello, AUC Dean's List students. My name is Dr. Jacqueline Cleaver, and I'm a recent graduate of AUC, matriculating into a general surgery residency at Kendall Regional in Miami, Florida. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your hard work. Every student strives to be on the Dean's List. However, few students can push themselves further to gain those extra percentages. You as Dean's List students push yourselves every single day, whether it's studying in line to get food, quizzing yourself endlessly, mastering the art of understanding and answering medical board style questions, which is not easy, 
and pushing past the test anxiety and fear of failure to be confident that this is your passion, this is your path, and you will succeed as an excellent student and one day as an excellent physician. I myself had quite a bit to overcome to get to where I am today. I started my AUC journey January 2017 on the beautiful island of St. Martin. I wore an air filter mask every single day in anatomy lab to keep from smelling the formaldehyde. I dodged iguanas and enjoyed the beautiful Maho Beach. As I was about to head down from our third semester, a category five hurricane, Hurricane Irma devastated our little island of St. Martin. While I was safe in California, I was beside myself knowing my close friends and peers were sheltered with hundreds of people in our school auditorium with limited resources. After people were finally evacuated from St. Martin, we were still essentially schoolless. Through the strength of our AUC network and extremely hard work of our deans and faculty, we were able to continue our school again, internationally and in a completely different climate in Preston, England. In England, we were able to join campuses with the students of University of Central Lancashire, or UCLan, and ultimately finish our didactic semesters. Through the chaos of the hurricane, we not only recognized the strength of our school and student body, but we were also able to expand and gain a second campus, AUC campus, with many AUC track students who are celebrating here tonight. So after England came step one, studying eight to 13 hours a day, hand cramps from taking so many notes and having four different electronic devices plugged in at any given time. There was also the test anxiety, the fear of failure, which is enough to deter a lot of pre-medical students. The only way to get through is to remember why you started and know that this too shall pass. The second part of my journey also has its twists and turns. I did my clinical rotations at Bronx Lebanon Hospital in New York City and was planning on doing my fourth year rotations at various AUC affiliated hospitals in New York and Connecticut when the pandemic hit. Uh, medical students were no longer allowed in the hospital and we were forced to complete a large portion of our most hands-on years in online. This was devastating. And then finally, when residency applications came around, it was another huge disappointment learning that the interviews would be virtual. So fast forward to March 19th, 2021. It's the morning of match day and I can barely breathe. At 8.58 a.m. when the email arrived, I thought back to the iguanas, the hurricane, step one, New York City, and COVID to see that I had matched into a general surgery categorical position at a level one trauma center in Miami, Florida. At that moment, my dream came true. At that moment, it was all worth it. So when my first day of residency comes on July 1st, I know I'll be ready for anything. <laughs> I hope your journey isn't filled with as many twists and turns as mine, even though you are starting your journey in a pandemic. After all my peers and I have been through, we can wholeheartedly say, keep going, this too shall pass, and you will fulfill your dream of becoming a physician. Three bits of advice as you continue your education. When hurdles arrive, start seeing the problem as, okay, what happens next? What do we do about this? Instead of dwelling on the event. Always leave the house 10 minutes earlier than you think, and finally, Nike, just do it. A lot of the times we don't wanna get up early, we don't wanna start studying. Don't think about it, just start and you'll feel a lot better. Congratulations again, Dean's List students. Stay on this steady and narrow path and you'll find yourself in my shoes about to start residency sooner than you know it. Good afternoon, AUC family. My name is Zachary Elder, and I am this semester's president of the Honors and Service Society. And I am here to present the Professor of the Semester Award. The Professor of the Semester Award is presented to the professor who truly goes above and beyond to ensure the success of their students here at AUC. Among my peers and I, we have had a number of professors nominated. However, there was one professor who clearly stood out the most. Here are some of the words shared by students. And I quote, this professor is the best professor I've ever had. They made sure that I was adequately prepared for each and every exam with no surprises ever. The amount of time they took during their reviews really prepared me. Another student says, 
This professor was definitely my favorite because of the amount of time they spend outside of the classroom on step one prep material and questions for us so that we're not just prepared for the class exam, but for step one as well. In my personal opinion, this professor really is the definition of for the people. And aside from the amount of hard work toward the class and beautiful slides prepared, as well as step one prep questions and uh, material, they have gotten many, many students publications and have allowed various students to take part in research with them. This professor really makes you feel like a family member and you can talk to them and rely on them for things outside of school as well. I personally know students who have now matched and credit this professor for being there literally step by step along the way and late in the interview stages until they had matched. We all are honored and humbled as well as lucky to have been this professor's student. He has a beautiful family. His wife and son have also been a part of the AUC family for quite some time. And with that being said, the Professor of the Semester Award goes to Dr. Mohammed Aziz. Hello everyone, my name is Amin Dillon and I'm the student body president of the UK SGA. It's my honor today to have this opportunity to acknowledge and honor students who have excelled in their academic performance. We're all very proud of each one of you. You've all been resilient and worked hard through these challenging times. Online learning has its own difficulties and you have all gracefully risen to this occasion. Your efforts and success is highly appreciated. I would also like to thank faculty that have went above and beyond to help students with the smooth transition into online learning. They have provided continuous support to their students despite the varying time zones. I would like to recognize their efforts and hard work by presenting the Faculty of the Semester Award for the UK track. For Semester 1, the Faculty of the Semester Award goes to our anatomy professor, Dr. Gargi Sony. For Semester 2, I would like to present the Faculty of the Semester Award to our Physiology 1 professor, Dr. Vishali Khatri. For Semester 3, the Faculty of the Semester Award goes to our Pathology 1 professor, Dr. Mohamed Alexanderani. Lastly, for Semester 4, I would like to recognize Jennifer Blakeledge, our Clinical Medicine professor, for the Faculty of the Semester Award. Once again, congratulations to all the students and faculty for all your great efforts and continuing the success of our program. By thanking my fellow Honors and Service Society members for choosing me to represent them as their president, I am both honored and humbled to have this privilege. The qualifications needed to be inducted into Honors and Service Society include being a current fifth semester student having an overall GPA of 85 and exhibiting the qualities of leadership, excellence, and service both inside and outside of the classroom. This is an amazing honor for we all know the struggles that med school comes with. The students selected for Honors and Service Society have found a way to balance their med school load in addition to service within the community, whether that being here in St. Martin or at home during the pandemic. We all have worked extremely hard to get to this point, and each and every one of you should be extremely proud and excited for yourselves. I am personally very thankful for everyone who has helped me along my journey. I would not have made it here today or this far without the unconditional support and love from my friends and family. Even while we are currently tied up studying for comp and furthermore getting ready for step, Please take this time to be proud of yourself and celebrate this moment, for we should always enjoy and cherish our successful moments. Congratulations to all of my peers selected this semester. Let us all use this accomplishment as motivation to continue to be the best we can be and give back as much as possible. I am excited for what the future holds. Please always remember your goals and continue to work hard toward them. Remember to never give up on your dreams, and with time, I am sure we will continually progress down the road of success together. To my colleagues in the up and coming semesters, use this as a reminder that all things really are possible. And if you work your hardest, it will not go unnoticed. 
work to be to better yourself every day and believe in yourself. I am wishing you all the very best going forward. And that being said, here are this semester's inductees into the Honors and Service Society. Thank you. Muhammad Ali Imanwo Anani Achivo Vedan Bhatt Drew Binger Sylvester Bote Angela Burkett Angela Castillo Franco Dane Christensen Anthony Dean Christopher Dobbins Gideon Bami Melika Ganavadi Janelle Go Javier Gonzalez Nicole Jaycox Courtney Johnson Kausika Kanatasan Daniel Lee Chantal Markarian Shole Masudnia Hyo Moon Ilana Nathan Chindi Anoha Bradley Pete Logan Primo Isabella Reichard Manrique Jacqueline Reyes 
Justin Vance. Miko Varela. Jordan Wells. Shi Yuan Yang. Mohammed Abedali. Josie Adams. Shah Haris Ahmed. Hasnain Ali. Alana Alvarez Amado. Tyra Aversa. Caleb Bayona. Graham Benzi. Omid Darvish. Clifford Davis. Michael Devrayev. Todd Fur. Victoria Garofalo. Brant Grissel. Jean Carlos Alberto Gutierrez Silva. Brianna Hernandez. Jonathan Kwok. Jocelyn Lubert. Anas Mahmoud. Mu Zi Meng. Mary Morse. Brian Neal. Jonathan Wen. Tyler Price. Yang Yang Chi. Ibnol Kaes Rafi. Joey Rogers. Jacob Rosendale. Joseph Tollickson. Samantha Webking. Olivia Weller. Catherine Bublidge. Carly Michelle Funk. Daniel Hildebrandt. Noor Bassam Isis. Faisal Kwaja. Su Min Lee. George Matar. Kevan Moin. Napat Rangsipat. Jacob Self. Jordan Stone. Eric Zucker. Tiger Wu. Davis Beard. Nastaran Birigi. Premsai Bondalapati. Arsalan Budin. Damien Candelaria. Naved Chaudhry. Kyle Payne Coombs. Rachel Marjorie Daniel. William Dramble. Adam L. Nuihi. Kiana Fries. Lisa Gondo. Chris Gugliotti. Sylvester Harrison. Amory N. Jackson. Bishoy Mark Joseph. Megan Josephs. Rafif Cleef. Amanda Curavilla. Matthew Lucas. Sean McCormick. Abanub Nakla. Daniel Noir. Jacqueline Nicholas. Pritam Patel. 
Rocco Vittorio Sproca Daniel Taberas Marvel Tekenal Luke Kui Tran Jasmine Tsai Heather Villarreal Ahmad Wali Olivia Warren Amaria Woodruff Madeline Yakel Ruby Zhao Khadija Bogdadi Ikra Bhatti Gracia Corrada Jessica Isold Zachary Elder Luna Emojin Nicole Handluser Merdula Karthikeyan Ugana Nuoko Priya Patel Cecilia Sanchez Bushra Shezad Sarah Solomon Sharmila Thiagarajan Hi, my name is Ebenezer Rosigi and I am last semester's Tariq Abisab Tutor of the Semester Award winner and I'm here to present this semester's award. This award is voted on by the student body and it goes to someone they feel goes above and beyond as a tutor. This semester's award winner grew up outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, received a bachelor's degree in psychology and philosophy from Duquesne University and a master's degree in medical sciences from Boston University. This individual has been a course tutor for nine different classes while at AUC, which include embryology, histology, molecular and cellular biology, anatomy, physiology one and two, microbiology, pathology one and two, neuroscience and pharmacology. Outside of school, this individual has engaged in the community service through global relief work centered in Port Au Prince, Haiti for nearly a year. This person is a joy to be around and is always eager to help individuals when they come asking. Every time I ran into him on the island, I couldn't help but notice a grin on his face. If you leave it to him, he'd tell you he's blessed to spend his days chasing curiosity in the classroom again and helping others do the same. This semester's Tariq Abisab Tutor of the Semester Award winner goes to Sean McCormick. Congratulations. My name is Dr. Hassan. I collaborate with academic support on St. Martin campus to coordinate the peer tutoring program on the UK campus. And I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to all our tutors who have participated in the program and to acknowledge your contribution and to say that the students really appreciate your contribution to um, sharing knowledge with them and they are grateful. And our semester five students um, who are leaving us for clinical um, rotation, I want to say a big thank you to you for your contribution to the success of the peer tutoring program on the UK track. And I wish you all the best. Carl Stockhausen Student Semester Award honors the life of Carl Stockhausen, an AUC student who portrayed the true character throughout his life. While attending AUC, Carl was the president of American Medical Students Association, member of the Student Judiciary Committee, active in diabetes screening on the island, an anatomy teaching assistant, and was an orientation advisor. The Student of the Semester Award was created by the Student Judiciary Committee and was presented for the first time in 2009. The award is given to a student who embodies compassion and humility, serves as an inspiration to fellow students, and owns a record of professionalism through their enrollment at AUC with a strong record of contribution to AUC in the St. Martin community. Carl showed determination and reminded students the gift that AUC gave all of us, an opportunity that we should not let by, a reminder to constantly remind ourselves that we are worthy and that we must prove to ourselves that we are meant to do what we dream. 
The recipient of the Spring 2021 Student of the Semester Award goes to Luna Emoji with the project All Hands on Deck. Teaming with the Mental Health Foundation of St. Martin, their overall vision is to promote continuity and consistency, prevention, psychiatric treatment, cure, and wellness to all of their clients. MHF provides for their actual needs with focus on their environment, wishes, job support, and financial stability. All Hands on Deck will be providing carpentry skills training that is aimed to improve employability in the labor sector and by extension, quality of life. Luna stated that the project will open opportunity of employment or self-employment and mitigates the challenges associated with mental health and unemployment. During this time, participants will also be enrolled in the Mental Health Awareness Program, facilitated by the AUC Psychiatric Interest Group, which will hold sessions working on self-awareness and mindfulness. Luna Emujin has been a leader on and off campus. She has given up so much of her time to help others. Some examples include being a tutor for many of the courses provided, being involved in many different organizations and clubs, and volunteering for Community Action Day every semester. This is only a sliver of what Luna has done to help the community around her, and SJC applauds her for the positive impact that she has made upon her classmates. On behalf of the Stockhausen family and the Student Judiciary Committee, congratulations, Luna. Hello, my name is Dr. Phil Pearson, and today I will be presenting the Gene Coburn Award. Now, the Gene Coburn Award is awarded every semester for the student that has actually has two parts. One of which is the highest GPA of the students in both the anatomy course as well as the embryology and histology course but also have a proven track record of helping his or her um, fellow colleagues. So again, it's both service to his colleagues, but also the highest GPA. Anyway, so for this semester, we have two runners up. The very first one is a Daniel Lee. The second one is a Logan Promo. And the winner of this year's Gene Coburn Award is Mr. Bradley Pete. Once again, congratulations Bradley, a award richly uh, earned. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Dr. David Rada. I'm the course director of the Molecular and Cell Biology One course in the first semester. It's my pleasure to be here to announce the winner of the MCB1 Academic Excellence Award for the summer 2021 semester. This award is given to one student from the previous semester in recognition of their outstanding academic achievement for demonstrating professionalism and for serving as a role model for current students in the course. To be considered for this award, a student must achieve honors and must also make a significant contribution to the MCB1 course by serving either as a course or a peer-to-peer -peer tutor. Before I announce this semester's winner, I would like to recognize two runners-up who also had outstanding semesters and are serving as tutors. The runners up are Caitlin Sark, who is serving currently as a peer to peer tutor in MCB1, and Christopher Dobbins, who is serving as a course tutor. And now the winner of the MCB1 Academic Excellence Award is Courtney Johnson. Congratulations, Courtney. Last semester, Court Courtney had an excellent semester finishing with honors, and she has also volunteered to be a course tutor for MCB1. Congratulations, Courtney, on a great semester, and thank you for your hard work as a tutor. Also, congratulations again to the runners-up, Caitlin and Christopher, um, and also congratulations to all of the students who made the Dean's List this semester. Good afternoon. On behalf of the MCB2 faculty, I am presenting the MCB2 Molecular and Cell Biology 2 Academic Excellence Award. Um, this award is given to a recipient who has excelled academically in the course, but who is also involved in course tutoring or peer-to-peer -peer tutoring this semester. This semester, um, the runner-up to the award goes to Clifford Davis, so congratulations. And the winners of the award, there are two recipients this semester, um, they both scored 100% on every single exam and they're also involved in, in tutoring and congratulations goes to Joseph Rogers and Brant Grissel. Well done. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Margaret Colden, course director of Physiology One, and it gives me great pleasure to announce the recipient of the May 2021 Physiology One Outstanding Student Award. 
for a student to be eligible for this award, the student must honor the course, act as a course or peer-to-peer -peer tutor for Phys 1, and serve their community. I want to congratulate all six applicants for their stellar academic performance in Physiology 1. Clifford Davis, Samantha Webking, Brianna Hernandez, Jocelyn Lubert, Todd Fur, and Faisal Kowaja. The award recipient this semester was born in Pakistan and moved to the United States when he was 19 to attend the University of Texas in Arlington to earn his Bachelor of Science in Biology with a minor in Biochemistry. During his college years, he had significant community involvement by volunteering his time at a local charity clinic, taking vitals, shadowing a doctor, and doing inventory for the pharmacy. Before his acceptance at AUC as a clinical research coordinator, he assisted in studies in various medical specialties. The student's passion to serve others was extended to the St. Martin and AUC communities in his volunteer involvement in the St. Martin Mosque, AUC student organizations, his work as editor-in-chief for the AUC Frontline, and his efforts to assist fellow students as an embryology histology teaching assistant, and of course, a physiology one peer-to-peer -to -peer tutor. And if that wasn't enough, this student also is involved in two research projects studying COVID vaccination hesitancy and the risk scoring systems for upper GI bleeding. Please join me in congratulating this semester's Physiology One Outstanding Student Award recipient, Faisal Kawaja. Well done. Each semester, the Immunology Award is presented to the student who has excelled in immunology and infection during the previous semester. In addition to demonstration of mastery of the subject material, the recipient of this award is expected to contribute to the course in other ways, such as serving as a course tutor or as a peer tutor. As in previous semesters, there were several qualified candidates for this semester's award. The runners-up were Jocelyn Lubert and Michael Devrayev. Well done, Jocelyn and Michael, and keep up the good work. The recipient of this semester's Immunology Award started off on a very different career path entirely. However, his experiences working among medical volunteers in Laos and subsequently in Uganda, convinced him to forego a career in archaeology and pursue a career in medicine instead. Since joining AUC, he has achieved honours in all of his courses and he has served as a peer tutor or course tutor in multiple subjects. The recipient of this semester's Immunology Award is Graham Benzie. Congratulations, Graham. Congratulations to all of you on your academic accomplishments. For the Medical Microbiology Award, we had a difficult task on our hands to select a single winner. We had an outstanding group of students in January semester. Six students had a final grade above 95%. We look at the student's academic performance, we read your statements, as well as your role in the cohort in and out of the classroom. The runners up are Megan Joseph and Jacob Self. For the winner, the student excelled in academic performance, demonstrate professionalism, and has been a role model for other students in and outside the classroom. During the undergraduate studies, the student conducted research in a Guatemala HIV clinic, examining the adherence of the patients to the treatment, using various indicators, both biological markers like CD4 and viral count, and sociological markers like appointment attendance and pills count. After graduating with a bachelor's degree, the student finished completing her medical school prerequisites while she, well, 
juggling and working in the emergency room as an assist, medical assistant. In the student own words, along the way there have been challenges and it had taken a lot of dedication, but have not given up and my dream is coming through. At AUC, the student was the SGA Treasurer Secretary and the third semester representative. Also, the student is doing research with children in San Martin and their influence of the pandemic on their lives. The winner of the semester award is Jackie Nichols. Good luck to all three and all of the Dean's List students in your journey. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Mike Michael, course director of the Physiology II course. It is my pleasure to announce the winner and runners up of the January 21 semester, Outstanding Student of the Semester for Physiology II. Our runners up are Jacqueline Nicholas and Damian Candelaria. Both of these students were passionate about their tutoring, involved in student government and extracurricular um, community activities and did very well in the course. The winner of the outstanding student of the semester for the January 21 semester of Physiology 2 is Amanda Kuruvilla. Amanda is originally from Dubai, moved to Canada at the age of two and now considers Canada home. She did very well in the course and she is most notable for her uh, passion for um, advising and assisting students. This can be seen in her work as a orientation advisor and now as her work as the head orientation advisor. She is in the process of earning a com community engagement certificate and she is working with 10 to 15 year old students on picture books that um, detail their experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic. Please join me in congratulating Amanda and our two winners up. Hi, my name is Dr. Cecil Cohn and I'm the third semester lead and I'm here to present the Pathology One Outstanding Student Award. As always, we've had many good applicants with great GPAs, etc. However, we also look for people who've done many extra curricular activities as well. So first, let's talk about the two runners up. They are Kavan Moin and Pritam Patel. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Both have very good applications. But now, let's talk about our winner. This person is from Dallas, Texas, which is interesting because some of the other applicants were from Dallas as well. They did their undergraduate work at the University of Virginia and actually finished in three years and was awarded something called the Orange Stove. Also, this person did many humanitarian works like with um, Habitat for Humanity they also work with the Peace Corps and actually taught high school in Liberia. Coming to AUC, this person also tutored for Path 1, as well as tutored in other courses. They did research. They also were part of student organizations with leadership roles. And they also participated in extracurricular activities. And in Pathology 1, this person had over a 95% average. So, without further ado, our winner is Megan Josephs. Congratulations, Megan. Job well done. And also congratulate all the other winners as well. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Kolelo. Oh, Dr. Alal, how are you? I'm perfectly fine. I'm uh, excited about this day, you know. It is. It's a beautiful day in Greece. Look at this lovely cafe we're at. And yeah. I can't wait to hear what you've got in store for us today. We are here to celebrate the uh, awards that our wonderful students have won in the past semester uh, for neuroscience. 
And by the way, I am Dr. Gautam Urlal, who is Professor of Neuroscience, and this is Dr. Ray Kalalo, the other professor in neuroscience. So we are wonderful partners here and uh, in this course. So actually what happened was, as is always the case, when we discuss about or think about who is going to be the winner this time, it's always a challenge because almost everyone has a similar grade and therefore we had to use various other parameters like you know their involvement in the community mm. and then involvement in the students like tutoring, course tutoring, peer tutoring, etc. and research and other activities. So by doing that we were able to filter. It was a hard decision though. And then we ended with two winners two and winners. two runners. So now the problem is we had a fight. Who is going to announce that? So what we decided is Dr. Kololo announces one winner and one runner and I announce one winner and one runner. Sounds fair. And we're going to start with the runners first. Runner up first. Sure. sure. Dr. Kololo, what do you play? Okay, so our first runner up for this neuroscience award is Anne-Marie Jackson. Congratulations, Congratulations Anne-Marie. Anne -Marie. Congratulations. Anne-Marie received a 96% in the neuroscience class, which is a fabulous, fabulous score. Um, but she's been very, very busy doing other things. She's uh, one of these students that, that keeps herself going for all these semesters. She's uh, been the course tutor in both pharmacology as well as gross anatomy. She's TA'd gross anatomy. She's the director, or I mean, sorry, the uh, treasurer of the radiology interest group. And she's very active in community service. So she's been very, very busy. But nevertheless, she's still scored a really stellar grade of 96% in the neuroscience. So congratulations, Anne-Marie Jackson. Congratulations, Anne-Marie. Uh, that was wonderful. In spite of all their studies, they do so many other activities. Mm -hmm. And here we have one more uh, runner up, and this is Navid Chaudhry. Congratulations, Navid, Ooh. for your 96% again on the Six. neuroscience course. And here is Navid, who actually tutored and peer tutored for immunology, physiology one, pathology one, and now in pharmacology as well. He's also involved in research with various faculty members on the campus, and he was an active member of the Canadian Medical Association, he was basically mentoring students from Canada who are here on the AUC. And by the way, talking about Canada, did you know that, Ray? He was my student in McMaster University in Canada. Oh my gosh, he's, he's followed you here. He has. I don't know where he's going to be. Congratulations, uh, Chaudhry. Congratulations. Congratulations. So now, I guess we have the winners of this illustrious, prestigious prize. For which? We are both responsible, right? I, I guess extent. we are. Just are we going to re share the reward with them? Yeah, the award? Probably. Should we? <laughs> one person, one person of that. Go ahead. So, our one of our winners for this prize is Bashar Shazad. Congratulations, ninety-nine percent. Where did the one percent go? That that is, yeah, I know one percent. What is that? She may have spelled her front first name wrong or something. I think that's all you can do to get one percent off. But what an amazing score! That is that is such a great great job. It's it's so difficult to to even imagine somebody can get a ninety-nine percentile. I I believe I wouldn't have been able to do that. But anyway. Uh, Bashar has been very, very busy. She has really taken her four semesters at, at AUC and decided to pack them in as, with as much work and as, as much, I guess, fun as, and her experiences as possible. So she's been on the dean's list for every one of the, the, the first four semesters, one, two, three, and four. She's been a peer tutor in pharmacology, pathology, physiology, and, and MCB. She's uh, been a uh, teaching assistant in both anatomy and embryology a member of four student associations, the treasurer of the online research club. My God, this woman is busy. And she's very, very active in community service. So we're really so proud of you. You've done a fabulous job. Keep up the good work. That's all we can say. And, and I can't wait till you're my doctor. Congratulations. Congratulations. We have one more potential doctor to treat and, us. And who's <laughs> this? Who is again another winner we're sharing. Uh, Luna Imogen. Luna Imogen, congratulations. Congratulations, Woo. Luna. And, and what did she, she score? She too scored 99%. I don't know again where the 1% one, one disappeared. Wow, wow, amazing. She has been not only working on her career, but also helping other students. She has been a course tutor for MCB1. I'll try to say it in one breath, okay? MCB1, Physiology1, Physiology2, Pathology1, Med Microbiology, and currently in Pharmacology, Pathology, and Neuroscience. My <laughs> gosh, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> she has been a head lab TA for Histology and Embryology. She was the SGD facilitator for MCB2 and pharmacology. 
She is a volunteer coordinator for Pediatric Interest Group. She is Vice President for Christian Medical Association and Vice President of Pediatric Interest Group. And, 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 class representative for two semesters. Such a busy bee. And she volunteered quite a lot in Community Action Day. And one more thing. Well, let me take a guess. Luna is a sapling of St. Martin. My God. Wow, Look at Luna. That. Congratulations to you all of you. Yes. Uh, on behalf of uh, Pathology 2, uh, faculty and staff, um, I'm honored to present the Gerber Warner uh, Award for uh, uh, Pathology uh, 2 uh, student of the semester. Uh, as we have every semester, uh, outstanding class, and uh, we were able eventually to uh, select 10 final candidates to receive this award. And I just want to tell the 10 candidates that you are already winners, all of you, and it's already will be listed nicely in your CV that you were nominated. But eventually you have to select only one. So we were able to narrow it down to three finalists, including a winner and the two runners. And uh, the uh, second runner-up for this award is student Zachary Elder, or as we call Nazmi. Uh, congratulations, uh, Nazmi. And uh, the first runner-up for this award is student Bushra Shizad. Uh, congratulations, Bushra. And the winners of uh, this uh, award, or let's make it the award, will go to do it Oscar style. So the uh, Delphar uh, Wonders uh, Award for Pathology 2, semester January 2021, uh, will go to Luna Emojin. Congratulations, Luna. We all know Luna very well, being born and raised on this beautiful island. We know about her and about her passion of serving others and how she would put it into practice throughout her time uh, at AUC uh, uh, since she started right away from the first semester. And just to list her uh, contributions to AUC and to some mountain uh, community is too long list to uh, go through. But uh, Luna's contribution uh, uh, included uh, tutoring almost any subject that uh, she uh, gone by, uh, volunteering, uh, officer of AUC organizations and the student's government, a housing resident advisor, many, many other uh, activities. Uh, congratulations, uh, Luna. Uh, uh, you uh, deserve uh, this significant award. Congratulations. My name is Wandika Imatori, and I'm the course director for medical pharmacology for 21. On behalf of my colleagues, Dr. Joseph Miller and Dr. Ravi Bilimani, I'm here to present the award for pharmacology for this semester. As usual, the competition for this award is always intense, and the candidates are always very well qualified. Criteria for eligibility into the competition included the following. Honoring in the course, tutoring in the course either as a course or peer tutor or small group tutor, as well as a variety of other extracurricular activities, including leadership in different organizations, as well as service to the community. The competition was close. The runners-up for this semester are Bushra Shehazad and Zachary Elder. The winner of the Pharmacology Award is someone who was born on this island. She has been an exemplary student who does well in all her courses that she has taken at AUC. As well, she has contributed to tutoring in almost all the courses that she has taken and currently tutors both as a small group as well as course tutor in pharmacology. She has been very involved in volunteering to help student and island groups in the area of mental health, among other things. This is particularly relevant during this time of the COVID pandemic. She won a $5,000 grant that went to the Mental Health Foundation of St. Martin to help develop Project MAP stands for Mental Health Awareness Program. The funds will be used to support community service projects that directly impact the well-being of mental health clients. Among other things, these students 
has been involved in other groups as well as being a class representative for the at least three semesters. The winner of the Pharmacology Award for this semester is Luna Imogen. Congratulations Luna and thank you. I am pleased to present the Outstanding Student Award for Behavioral Science. Our runner-up is Katie Schaefer. Katie, thank you for your ongoing contributions to the Behavioral Science course. The recipient of this award is Elizabeth O'Grady. Prior to medical school, Elizabeth was committed to behavioral science, which she demonstrated in her selection of courses, TA activities, and volunteerism. At AUC, under the mentorship of Dr. Trebanyan, Elizabeth has actively participated in research and community outreach focused on breast cancer. She also co-founded the Oncology Interest Group. She has a very strong interest in oncology and a clear understanding of how she can integrate principles of behavioral science into her patient care. And in the behavioral science course, she contributed to the learning of other students by actively participating in class discussions and asking the most critical questions about patient care. Elizabeth, we expect you to become a compassionate physician leader, and we wish you all the best in your future. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations to all our award recipients and Dean's List students. My name is Dr. Bekele, and I am a faculty member of our ICM department. I'm honored to be with you today and share the achievement of our hardworking students and to present the ICM award. This award is presented to a student who not only stands out academically in the ICM courses, but also demonstrates their commitment to, and values to this profession. Uh, volunteerism, research, community involvement, and peer tutoring. It was indeed very challenging to choose one of our, all of our great students and candidates, but now one has to be chosen. Now, I would like to present the first um, students, a ra rather runner-up, uh, that has been involved in all above that I mentioned, and that will go to Andrew Hess. Congratulations, Andrew, and good job on that. And our winner for ICM course recipients is Rachel Johnson. Congratulations, Rachel. Good job. Just an additional info, Rachel has been involved in establishing along with Dr. Trebanyan the oncology interest group uh, for students here at AUC. Well done and well deserved. Thank you everyone. Have a good evening. Congratulations to all of you on your awards and honors tonight. It's wonderful to see so much exemplary academic performance. I'm Scott Rinkery, your Assistant Dean of Student Affairs, and tonight I'm honored to present the award for student engagement. I could not be prouder of the group of candidates and the energy you put forth to create a more active student experience. During an incredibly isolating time in the world and in your education, the Student Engagement Scholarship is awarded to the student whose involvement with AUC campus community, including contributions to campus leadership, has supported individual and group student development to become future physicians, as well as a commitment to carrying forward a leadership role into the future. This semester, the award goes to Brianna Barnard. Here are a list of some of her involvements. She was a class rep during her first semester and the transition to online. She was SGA secretary, SGA president, AMSA recruitment director. She organized research symposium, club fair, weekly SGA meetings, curriculum development committee during a busy transformative time at AUC, COVID vaccine volunteering, COVID relief initiatives. She was part of the white coat and orientation engagements, participated in help with SGA restructuring, and co-founded an anesthesiology interest group. She brought forward speakers to the Med Talk series and is a newly elected board member of the executive SGA for four-year initiatives. 
She's a paid course tutor, and I can say from working with her that she's humble, diplomatic, efficient, mature, professional, and skilled at having difficult conversations that create positive change for students. Her quote fits her nicely. Community is much more than belonging to something. It's about doing something together that makes belonging matter. Thank you so much, and join me in congr congratulating Brianna Barnard. The Social Accountability Scholarship recognizes students who have made contributions to communities of St. Martin during their medical science education. The Scholarship Committee selects an awardee based on their engagement with the St. Martin community, as well as their capacity to reflect on the experiences they have had and how that shapes their personal and professional development. The awardee for this semester's Social Accountability Scholarship is Luna Emoji. Luna was born in St. Martin and completed her undergraduate studies in Canada. As a recipient of an academic scholarship, she returned to St. Martin as an AUC student with the determination to be accountable to her own community. She has since participated in a number of community engagement activities which has helped to shape her understanding of what it really means to be a physician. For example, Luna has visited supermarkets to assist SXM Action in collecting food items for families affected by COVID-19. Luna has assisted the Flames United Sports Club in organizing food, clothing, school supplies, and other donated items to families during community events. Luna has also participated in Community Action Day activities, such as the Mullet Bay Beach Cleanup and the development of health education videos. More recently, Luna has assisted the COVID vaccination registration process at the Bel Air Community Center. But her most notable contribution has been to the Community Engagement Certificate of Program, a three semester course designed to prepare physicians in training with the experience of collaboration with a community partner. In that, they developed evidence-based approaches to addressing health needs. Her cohort collaborated with the Mental Health Foundation of St. Martin, and through that, they developed an employment readiness curriculum for people living with mental illness. She didn't stop. On campus, Luna has served as a student government class rep, the head histology embryology TA, and an MCB small group tutor. She has also served as a pharmacology tutor and an orientation advisor. With all of this, Luna has maintained a 99% GPA. Luna, we see you as a representative of your community and a role model to students on the island for the potential to complete medical school. We know that you expect to practice medicine in St. Martin and we recognize that your journey has just begun. We are happy to support your mission to support the health of people living in St. Martin. Congratulations, Luna. In today's ceremony for you, our physicians in training, we're celebrating your dedication and academic achievement. We see how in the face of a global crisis, it's been vital to adjust your medical education. The majority of our teaching delivery is now adapted to flip learning with new approaches giving a unique experience and receiving considerable positive reaction from students set alongside the continued backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic. Active learning and self-paced learning have provided appreciable benefits through online discussions instead of traditional lectures and more flexibility in schedules, study locations, and access. Today gives us further optimism that despite setbacks, we see success in the January 2021 transition semester, during which you reverted from online to campus learning in the UK and St. Martin. One might not predict achievement during a pandemic, but self-efficacy, optimism, and resilience remain in the foreground of your engagement in learning the art and skill of medicine. 
We want student doctors to be curious, inspired, and show optimistic commitment in their lifetime. Your passion and engagement are positive influences on fellow students and the AUC community. Mastery of the AUC Medical Science Curriculum gives you a sound platform for potential mastery of clinical sciences and progress as a future healthcare professional. For those whose academic performance has been consistently recognised at the events throughout the year 2020 and the start of their journey in January last year, who have now achieved Dean's List in their fourth semester, you have a legitimate right to be confident of success. The AUC faculty and colleagues are buoyant on the success of all students who have made the Dean's List and the students whose other achievements such as honour and service we celebrate. This celebration we're giving all the students a badge and we invite you to proudly wear this Dean's List badge on your way. The UK Trang delivered all five semesters for the first time in 2021 and I want to thank the UK SGA for their contribution during the last semester. In particular, the President Voltage Bagri and Vice President Zidesh Mohan. Finally, we're encouraged with continued positive optimism for 2021 and congratulate everyone at AUC and those members of your friends and family who've contributed a part to your success to date on your MD journey. My congratulations. For semester one, histology embryology, the top examination performance was by Zi Wen Yang with strong examination accomplishments by Mustafa Ali and Emmanuel Atsibor. For MCB1, the top examination performance was by Si Wen Yang, with notable results for both Medang Pat and Mustafa Ali. For gross anatomy, completing the triple achievement in exam performance was by Si Wen Yang, this time sharing the top spot with Mustafa Ali followed by a notable achievement by Emmanuel Atibor. For semester two, Physiology 1, we recognise Shah Harris Ahmed with the top performance followed by Husnain Ali and Alana Alvarez Amado. In Immunology and Infection, Shah Harris Ahmed with strong performances by Husnain Ali, Alana Alvarez Amado and Nazira Akobi. MCB2, the highest scoring student was Husnain Ali, followed by Shah Harris Ahmed and Alana Alvarez Amado. The Biostatistic Short Course, Alana Alvarez Amado, the best performance, well done to an excellent performance by Ho Yin Sung. In semester three, we have a clean sweep across all three academic courses. For Pathology 1, Physiology 2, and medical microbiology, we recognise the achievements of Catherine Babol. In semester four, for medical pharmacology, the top scores by Kashish Nathwani. And well done to Ahmed Wali and Lisa Gondo. For neuroscience, Lisa Gondo was our best performance, with strong academic performances from Carolyn Muir, Kashish Nathwani, and Sidesh Mohak. Pathology 2, Lisa Gondo again tops the student performance, followed by Kashish Nathwani and Manvir Mahal. For semester 5, Medical Ethics and ICM, we recognise the achievements of Dear Gala, Samaya Qureshi and Uma Javed. For Behavioural Science, we again recognise the achievements of Dear Gala, Samaya Qureshi and Leila Palante. Well done to all Dean's List students from the UK track. Your achievements deserve the merit that we recognise in this celebration of academic excellence. Hi everyone, it's Jen from UK Track ICM. Just wanted to say huge congratulations to everyone who made the Dean's List for this semester and wanted to award some special prizes for the Award for Clinical Excellence in ICM. So this semester, for semester five, we'd like to give Howa the award for his commitment to excellence through his work in the vaccination clinic, so well done. 
Semester four, we'd like to award this to Manvia for an outstanding docs performance and also to Carol for perfect attendance and completing all work as required. Well done. Semester two, we'd like to give this to Ange, an outstanding docs performance and really good willingness to learn from the feedback you were given. Well done. Semester one, we'd like to award this to Mustafa for your enthusiasm and your willingness to take part during class sessions and also to Alex for your willingness to volunteer and also for assisting your classmates to learn. Well done to everybody. We're proud of you all. Keep up the good work. Looking forward to seeing you all next semester. Hi. I'm here again now to talk to you about the Juneteenth celebration. This represents the freedom of African American slaves and is associated with the 13th Amendment of the Constitution, which occurred on January 1865. So you say, why is it called Juneteenth? Well, back then, of course, they didn't have cell phones, cable, etc. So it took until June until some states like Tennessee and Texas actually got the word of this occurrence. Now, because there is an actual date when this occurred, we use the term Juneteenth. However, it typically is celebrated on June the 19th. It is a day of celebration, music, games, food, dancing. And at some point, someone should read the 13th Amendment of the Constitution, which is as follows. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. So, there you have it. So, happy Juneteenth to all. And I'd like to say thank you all for coming out and enjoying this celebration. The students have done very well under these circumstances with the COVID and pandemic. So again, thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.